Scrum Artifacts Scrum Artifacts represent work or value. They are designed to maximize transparency of key information. Thus, everyone inspecting them has the same basis for adaptation. Each artifact contains a commitment to ensure it provides information that enhances transparency and focus against which progress can be measured. For the product backlog, it is the product goal. For the sprint backlog, it is the sprint goal. For the increment, it is the definition of done. These commitments exist to reinforce empiricism and the Scrum values for the Scrum team and their stakeholders. Product Backlog The Product Backlog is an emergent, ordered list of what is needed to improve the product. It is the single source of work undertaken by the Scrum team. Product Backlog items that can be done by the Scrum team within one sprint are deemed ready for selection in a sprint planning event. They usually acquire this degree of transparency after refining activities. Product Backlog Refinement is the act of breaking down and further defining Product Backlog items into smaller or more precise items. This is an ongoing activity to add details, such as description, order, and size. Attributes often vary with the domain of work. The developers who will be doing the work are responsible for the sizing. The product owner may influence the developers by helping them understand and select trade-offs. Commitment Product Goal The product goal describes a future state of the product, which can serve as a target for the Scrum team to plan against. The product goal is in the product backlog. The rest of the product backlog emerges to define what will fulfill the product goal. A product is a vehicle to deliver value. It has a clear boundary, known stakeholders, well-defined users, or customers. A product could be a service, a physical product, or something more abstract. The product goal is the long-term objective for the Scrum team. They must fulfill or abandon one objective before taking on the next. Sprint Backlog The Sprint Backlog is composed of the Sprint Goal, Why, the set of product backlog items selected for the Sprint, What, as well as an actionable plan for delivering the increment, How. The Sprint Backlog is a plan by and for the developers. It is a highly visible, real-time picture of the work that the developers plan to accomplish during the Sprint in order to achieve the Sprint goal. Consequently, the Sprint Backlog is updated through the Sprint as more is learned. It should have enough detail that they can inspect their progress in the daily Scrum. Commitment Sprint Goal The Sprint Goal is the single objective for the Sprint. Although the sprint goal is a commitment by the developers, it provides flexibility in terms of the exact work needed to achieve it. The sprint goal also creates coherence and focus, encouraging the scrum team to work together rather than on separate initiatives. The sprint goal is created during the sprint planning event and then added to the sprint backlog. As the developers work during the sprint, they keep the sprint goal in mind. If the work turns out to be different than they expected, they collaborate with the product owner to negotiate the scope of the sprint backlog within the sprint without affecting the sprint goal. Increment An increment is a concrete stepping stone toward the product goal. Each increment is additive to all prior increments and thoroughly verified, ensuring that all increments work together. In order to provide value, the increment must be usable. Multiple increments may be created within a sprint. The sum of the increments is presented at the sprint review, thus supporting empiricism. However, an increment may be delivered to stakeholders prior to the end of the sprint. The sprint review should never be considered a gate to releasing value. Work cannot be considered part of an increment unless it meets the definition of done. Commitment. Definition of done. The definition of done is the formal description of the state of the increment when it meets the quality measures required for the product. The moment a product backlog item meets the definition of done, an increment is born. The definition of done creates transparency by providing everyone a shared understanding of what work was completed as part of the increment. If a product backlog item does not meet the definition of done, it cannot be released or even presented at the sprint review. Instead, it returns to the product backlog for future consideration. If 
The definition of done for an increment is part of the standards of the organization. All scrum teams must follow it as a minimum. If it is not an organizational standard, a scrum team must create a definition of done appropriate to the product. The developers are required to conform to the definition of done. If there are multiple scrum teams working together on a product, they must mutually define 